scampered off to my love. propose I go back to sleep when my darling you isn't cuddled up in my arms stealing my blankets from me. Besides, I've been with you long enough to know full well what it looks like when you're in the zone, clickety-clacking away not to be interrupted, and when you're staring at the keys, unable to find the words, dangerously close to frustration. Well past frustration, is that right? Well, we can't have any of that. Come here, love. Mm-mm. No. As your number one fan, biggest critic, and longtime lover, I reserve the right to save you when you need saving. Now let me carry you away from all this midnight oil before it starts burning you back. Hmm. <laughs> Sofa time. It was writing time, yes, and it will be writing time again soon, but for now, it's breathing time, it's cuddle time, it's remind you who you are time. All right, my love? Besides, that's the deadline, self-imposed, I might add, that's telling you you need to write right now. If you step away from yourself, I think you'll agree. It's time for a break, for a breather, and for some much-needed... Mm, levity? <laughs> because if I know you, and I'd say by now that I'm fairly qualified in the realm of you <laughs> I'd say... Mm, I'd say you're doubting yourself. I'd say you're feeling the pressure of expectation and stress raining down on you. I'd say that you're struggling with these feelings of impotency, angry at the words for not coming, and... Hmm, worse yet, scared that if they do, when they do, that they won't be good enough. For you, for your friends and family, for your fans. Hmm, I know the feeling. I'm sure every writer does. And the higher you climb, the higher the expectations pile up, and the higher you have to fall from, but... Baby. The higher you climb, the farther you've come. Look back at everything you've accomplished so far, love. I know it. Your loyal, hard-earned fans know it. Your family, your friends. There isn't a person I know who doesn't think that you're a marvel with words, a, a master at the keyboard. <laughs> and we all know you're going to do wonderfully. And you're going to finish like only you can. And when you do... It'll blow us all away. You know it, too. I know you do. Somewhere in there, not as deep as you may think, is that side of you that knows that this will be another amazing work. 
the same side of you that knows you love these characters, this setting, this world you've created, and you won't let yourself or these characters down by giving them anything but the best words to bring their story to life. It's half the reason I fell for you in the first place. <laughs> Not just because of your talent, your incredible, undeniable, insurmountable control of the keys, but because of your dedication to your craft. These stories, these people you've written into being, this amazing world you've spun into life, you care for them, you love them, you want the best for them. <laughs> and it shows in your care, in your devotion, in your words. So when the time comes, and the words do get down on the page, they'll be masterful. It'll be another book down, but also another chapter in your life, in our lives, together. The time for that chapter to end, for that story to be finished, it isn't now, though. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Look at me. Not now. Not tonight. Tonight, right now, is for reflection. And cuddles, yes, plenty of those. Tonight is for you and I taking a victory lap together. Not just for what you've written already, which, by the looks of it, is nothing to scoff at. Oh, <laughs> Shush you. You know full well I can't read the screen from here without my glasses. But yes, tonight is for taking a victory lap to celebrate how far you've come. Not only with this piece so far, but in life as well. You've done so much and you deserve to give yourself credit for that. Yes, there's more to write. Yes, there's work that needs to be done. And yes, the story needs to get finished. But not tonight. We both know that keyboard and all the wonders you've got stored away in it somewhere aren't going anywhere. When the time is right. When your fancy is tickled. When your muse says your break time is over. <laughs> Then, and only then, can you get back to it. For now, let me stroke your hair. Hmm. Let me hold you as you lay in my lap. Let me praise and pamper you because you deserve to be praised and pampered. <laughs> Here, uh, roll onto your side. There you go. I was reading this thing about back massages, and it said if I, here, if I press my fingers right here, by the inside of the shoulders, mmm, <laughs> you like that, love? And I'm supposed to press my knuckles downward like this, and away from the spine, mm-hmm, mm, there's my baby. Then back up towards the heart. Down again. Stopping right here. Do you like that, babe? I mean, you must have. <laughs> You've all but melted into my lap. <laughs> all of this tension, all of this worry and stress you've knotted so tightly into your body. Let me just... Hmm. There. Let me just ease it out of you. Breathe it out, love. Let it all go. You're talented. You're beautiful. You're an amazing author. And when the time is right, you'll find every last word you were looking for. 
and it will be astounding. Another installment in the growing library of my very own masterpiece. Because you are mine, and I won't let you go. <laughs> and I won't let you doubt yourself, not even for a minute. You may stumble, you may have these passing moments of questioning yourself, but I'll always be here to bring you back. <laughs> your biggest critic, your biggest fan, your lover, your keeper, your slave, your plaything, your man, and I'll be here forever and always. For as long as you can stand me, at least. Forever and always. <laughs> Is that right? Hmm. As you say, my love. Forever. And. Always. And you're asleep. Ah, uh, my angel, my muse, my beauty. You've gone and worked yourself to strands and scraps, like you always do. Not for nothing, I'm sure. If I lean over like this, and if I squint, yep, I can make out the screen. Let's see what you've got here so far. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is good. But then again, I knew it would be. We both did. I wonder if I can scroll up from here. Hey, hey. Hmm? Nothing. I, I was just, uh... Stretching. I did not read your work. I know full well you'd kill me. Then what was I reaching for the laptop for? Uh, well, uh, uh, YouTube? Porn? Um, uh, ten easy ways to distract the love of your life from catching you doing something you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> All right, all right. No laptop for either of us. Just sleep. In the bed? No. Well then, here, let me... Let me flap out this blanket. Ah, there. And we're set. Hmm. Baby? Hmm. <laughs> It'll be amazing when you get back to it, love. I promise you. The words will come. Good night, my love.